Hi guys, it's Justin with Joe Sunju here, and on today's video, I'm going to give you some FYI about how to fix action figures and dolls that have broken pieces and kind of odd places. In this example, I want to share a photo that one of my um, friends and one of my doll groups sent and needed assistance in how to fix. So this is a 1992 12-inch G.I. Joe figure. You see that the groin piece is broken and it's in a very odd spot. You notice that the um, little pelvic piece is broken and it's right in between the, the two leg pegs. So this can be a little bit tricky. If you just kind of glue this and walk away from it, more than likely those legs are going to get locked in place. So to prevent that, you have to kind of do some proactive things. My first suggestion is to use a gel-based super glue. So why gel base? Well, gel base glues allow you to have more control and they don't run. Because what can happen, the glue can seep into um, the cracks and then into the joints where those pegs are, and then it can just lock the legs in place. So using the gel kind of aids in keeping the glue in the right place, and then even if it does seep, it's more than likely less will seep into those cracks because it's a more controlled um, base product. So gel glue is number one. The other thing that I would recommend is that when you do glue this, use about half of what you normally would use. The reason being is you have to overcompensate for the fact that the gel glue is going to spread. So once you apply pressure on the piece, it's going to spread over that area. So you want to make sure that you just put just a little bit on that surface because if you do too much, it definitely will seep into the cracks. Then two, once you actually have secured the gel really on the, the cracked area, um, you also want to make sure that you don't leave um, sensitive pieces that may be in the way. For example, in the picture that was sent, um, it shows that the leg pegs is right there where it's cracked on the pelvis. So to prevent that from sticking, what you, what you would need to do is to actually move those legs up and down or side to side and what it will do is it will um, aid the process of making sure that um, any residual glue does not keep that in place and that's a very very good suggestion. You can also help the glue to stay in place by redirecting it with a toothpick. So the toothpick will allow you to put it in more sensitive places that the nozzle of that glue may not be able to allow you to do. That spot may even be even smaller than that nozzle tip. So using that little toothpick will allow you to place things in a better position. Mm -hmm. Two, if you, you do have issues and for whatever reason um, the pieces just don't glue correctly, you can always start over. You can apply paint thinner. Um, please use all caution when doing that. Your eye gear, your hand gear, mask, using in a ventilated area, um, and then apply it per the directions. You can also use glue be gone or goo off, all those different glue goo type products. They're made to reactivate adhesives because they're oil based, and that's what reactivates glue. So, do that. And then, one last very key suggestion is to um, make sure that you cure it correctly. So, most glues, especially when you're um, gluing plastic or acetates, um, you have to allow it to cure for at least 24 hours. Per your glue, it may be up to 36 or 48 hours. So, always look at those glue instructions and make sure that you're allowing it to cure because that's how you're going to get the maximum hold. And that maximum hold will help 
also ensure that you're not um, damaging the seal of that adhesive and that you're not just gonna, again, break it very easily again. So those are my key steps for fixing your action figures, your dolls, your articulated figures. Number one, use your gel-based glue. It'll help things to not run and stay in place. You can redirect it with the toothpick. Um, if need be, if you need to start over, use your um, oil-based um, paint thinner or goo-off product or goo be gone, whatever it may be. And then lastly, um, but not least, make sure that you follow the curing instructions for the glue product to make sure that you get maximum hold. So hopefully that all works out. Let me know if you have any more questions and I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.